Hi there, I'm Sean. Uh, today we are at the S4 HQ, the home of industrial automation. Um, and if you've ever wondered how things look inside and, and how we do things, today we'll take a bit of a sneak peek um, around at our various departments and facilities and, and show you how we get things done. So what's typical for a company like ours is to start the entire process off with receiving an RFQ or what is known as an, a request for quote from our customers or prospects. Um, that gets shared internally with our project management team. Um, it will be assigned to them based on their skill set and their knowledge. Uh, they are made up of controls, electrical and mechanical engineers. Um, and based on what is needed, we'll, like I said, we'll distribute it to the person that's best uh, suited for that, that inquiry. Uh, they will then look at all of the, the various elements to it, the, the timing, the costs involved, um, any, any risks that we may identify early on and we will then put together a quotation for our customer. We'll take the opportunity to present it to them and explain to them what it is that we have in mind for them. Behind me we have one of our very many software development wings. Within our group at the moment we have more than 130 software developers all working on various projects and tasks and, and different platforms. Anything from vehicle diagnostic software through to WMS or warehouse management systems and small scale ERPs. Behind me is our machine shop. So once we've procured the raw material that we need for our various, let, let's call them items, because it's got quite a, a wide range of, of product that it could be, um, we will process it in as a, as a raw piece. Um, it will go in to the allocated machine and machinist. Um, they will then take it on with their drawing that's been issued from our mechanical design department, and they will manufacture it to the specification of that drawing, um, the various dimensions and tolerances that are considered. Um, it will then come out as a finished product on the other side. You can see it's all been collected already for today. The guys are very busy. Um, and yeah, and then it moves on to our assembly floor where it starts getting put together with the, the rest of the facilities. Behind me is our in-house spray booth. So when it's called for on our manufactured items, we will bring them in here. We'll give them a spray over, a couple of coats where necessary, and then we'll bring them out, uh, allow them to dry before we carry on with our assembly process. So once our customers have signed off on their designs, both mechanically, electrically, and from an overall concept, we go through a procurement process. So that's both to purchase raw materials as well as bought out items locally and from abroad. We have to import some of our equipment. Um, and once it all starts to arrive and come together, it comes through for manufacturing if necessary. Otherwise, it comes straight through to our shop floor. And this is where everything really starts to come together. Our mechanical and electrical artisans get together. They have a timing plan that they would work to and an allocated floor area um, and they, they start to build up their process so that we can get to a point where we can really start testing whatever it is that we are building for our customer. Um, if you have a look around right now you'll see that our floor is, is full of various sets of equipment. Some are production lines, some are stations, some are even uh, automated warehouses and uh, yeah this just this will change on a weekly basis so i like to say to people you know every time you come around to s4 you'll see something different it will never look the same it's always new it's always exciting if you want to know more about the individual projects and and what the, what it's involved in them exactly uh stay stay tuned or, or keep an eye on our socials and our youtube channel and we will have more details in the, the coming weeks and months well thanks so much for joining us and having a quick look around. If you'd like to know more or come and visit in person, uh, please feel free to reach out um, and we gladly set that up over a cup of coffee.